make sure you run out and grab one and then come right back drop a comment <laughs> drop a comment below i'm always happy to just like run into the pro shop Hey everyone, Brian Buckash here, Core Design Engineer with Brunswick Bowling, and today I get to talk to you about the newest release in the Ebonite lineup, the GB4. Let's take it to the intro. Back by popular demand is what they say. I think if you look around at all of the brands under our umbrella, you'll notice that we're bringing back a lot of the cores that were the staple of the line in the previous EBI li lineups, uh, and it was definitely Ebonite's turn. And when I look at the brand of Ebonite as a whole, one of the staples of the brand has been for a long, long time the Game Breaker series, and of course the enhanced V2 core that powers that series. And now it's back again, this time in the updated GB4. This core, the Enhanced V2, has a total differential of 048. It's the exact same core as the original, we just had to modify it to fit our process in manufacturing. And we nailed it. I mean, that's being a little biased, but I think EBI fans will be very pleased. The only difference between the, this core and the original EBI cores is that this one now contains dynamic core in the outer core. That's the blue stuff that you see when you drill into it, and that actually strengthens up the outer core material compared to what you've seen in the past. That means it's going to increase the hitting power by transferring more energy to the ball from the ball to the pins at impact. And of course, surrounding this original enhanced V2 core is the new GB 12.0 cover stock. This is a solid and it's a beauty with light red, dark red combo. The special thing about this cover stock is that it sticks to the mid lane really well. I think the GB3 was previously the strongest GB in the lineup. Well, there's a new benchmark for that, for that hook total, and it's this GB4. It just grabs the mid lane and continues on the back more than any of the previous GB series balls. The thing about the GB3 was, yes, it was early and strong, but it was also so strong that it was a little bit smooth in its motion overall. And I think you'll see similar length out of this GB4, but a little more mid lane security and a little more on the back end, meaning that it's a stronger GB without being too early or too rolly. And that is going to excite a lot of fans of this lineup. So without hearing me babble any further, let's just take it to the hook chart, the comparison chart, and show you how this one compares to the rest of the current Ebonite lineup. This chart contains every release in the Ebonite lineup for an entire year. They're sorted by oil volume on the bottom and on the left by motion shapes. Pay attention to these motion shape categories because angular backend is in the middle on this chart to best separate the more asymmetric shapes toward the top of the chart from the more symmetrical shapes on the bottom of the chart. Our newest release, the GB4, is highlighted in yellow. This new game breaker is built to handle a medium heavy amount of total oil volume and falls squarely in the smooth, continuous category of ball motion. The cover is a snow tire at 500-1500 Sierra pad finish. Compared to a light drilled Allure solid, the GB4 is going to be a few more boards overall, but noticeably earlier in the mid lane, smoother and rounder overall in total shape. This gives you control for a lot of different player styles. If you're a speed dominant bowler, you're going to love the extra mid lane security and early motion that the GB4 gives you over other balls in the lineup. If you're a matched player, this could be a step down from an asymmetrical ball like the Aero Solid when you want a little more continuation and a little more control of the shape that you've got. And importantly, if you're a rev dominant bowler who finds a hard time throwing asymmetrical balls on heavier conditions because of your high rev rate, the GB4 is going to be a perfect replacement because of its symmetrical nature. It's going to be smoother, controllable, but still plenty of strength to get through even the heaviest of patterns. I think this is going to be a fan favorite for high rev bowlers and two-handed bowlers because of the overall front-to-back control that this GB4 offers. The GB4 complements the other symmetrical balls like the Allure series and the Stinger series perfectly. If this ball happens to be a little too early or a little too strong overall for the pattern you're bowling on, then a step down to the Allure to give you a little more length and a little more shape at the back of the pattern is going to be a no-brainer transition. 
This keeps you from opening up your launch angles too crazily and keeps you in the same zone while getting through the heads a little better. And then another step down from that would be a Stinger Hybrid, and that's a nice 1-2-3 symmetrical arsenal. The Game Breaker 4 also complements the asymmetrical balls in the lineup nicely. The GB4 is the earliest, strongest, and smoothest overall in terms of the mid lane read compared to the asymmetrical arrow series, but in terms of total hook, this one's going to be between the arrow and the aerodynamics. The aerodynamics has those same characteristics that the arrow does, but gets you through the fronts a lot more cleanly, meaning that if you step down from the arrow to the GB4, you can step again down to an aerodynamics to open up your launch angle and watch the ball recover sharply off of the friction. In this way, the current lineup of Ebonite offerings serves to fill the role of almost every shape that you would need in your bag. That's all the information I have on this new Game Breaker 4, available in pro shops worldwide right now. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this one. Are you picking this one up as a replacement or a complement to the other Game Breakers in your bag? Are there any other core shapes from the old EBI lineup that you'd like to see make a comeback? I'm interested to hear. Make sure you're following me on YouTube and on Facebook, Bowling Buckosh, as I make new, release, new videos as new releases from the brands of Friends would come out. So until next time, thanks for watching.